What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Poke Trading Gods YouTube channel. In today's video, we have a very important Pokemon news announcement. That's right, folks. I have a very good authority, according to my phone, that GameStop may have leaked the official release date of the Pokemon Snap remake for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're as excited as I am, that probably means you're also a huge Pokemon fan. I'm almost 30 years old and I still wear Pikachu on my shirt. But needless to say, I'm very excited about Pokemon Snap making a comeback. And if this leak happens to be true, I'm good with it because I'll have an actual date to know when to look for my game to be in the mail. So I was on my phone the other day shopping for Pokemon cards at GameStop like I normally do, especially with the world the way it is, it's better to shop online. And I went to go ahead and pre-order Pokemon Snap. And I noticed, which I'll show you on the screen here, this little message where it says release date is December 31st, 2020. And I was like, well, maybe they just put that date in there because it's the end of the year and there hasn't been an official release date. But then if you look, it says you will typically have it between this date and this date, which I thought was also interesting. So they did say that it would be released around holiday of 2020. I would not be surprised if they released it on December 31st going into January. Um, maybe they could do a pre-sale. I'm sure they're going to have some type of pre-sale for this game. But if you guys are interested in Pokemon Snap, smash the thumbs up button for me. Let me know if you've seen or heard any other rumors. I would love to know a more official release date for this game. But besides all that, today we have a very exciting video because if you watch this video, you'll know that I pulled a hollow reprint of the base set of Charizard from XY Evolution. So we are on the hashtag quest for the Charizards. We look for all the Charizards ever printed across Pokemon cards and we're starting with the newer sets and working our way backwards. So we found the one in Evolutions. We still have a couple more to go. And today we're gonna be hunting for the elusive, the overpriced, the super, super sought after Hidden Fates shiny rainbow rare Charizard. So we're gonna open five of these Gyarados tins. They're all the same. I just have five of them. And uh, we're gonna get through 20 packs of Hidden Fates hunting for that mythical Charizard. Wish us luck. Smash the thumbs up button if you're new here. Subscribe and enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. In today's video, we're opening 20 of these packs. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a code card because, you know, so there's the first code card for a 10 for the game online. And let's just crack this first pack open. Also, if you see this big orange thing on my face cam, just ignore it. That is literally just the only thing I have to use to hold my camera. It's actually a ring light. So let's go one, two, three, four. I just opened Evolutions a whole bunch on camera the other day. So this is going to be a little different. All right, let's go. One, Charmeleon, Graveler, Farfetch, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, Blaine's last down the reverse. Please be somewhere. Bruh. What? What are the odds? Okay, all right, moving on. Nothing good. So we have a Charizard 10 open here and a Hidden Fates 10. Bulk just goes right in there. If you guys are interested in buying bulk or a Gyarados promo card, we got about 10 of them in our collection now, maybe more than 10. Uh, let us know. Follow us on Instagram where we post our daily polls and we post all kinds of cool stuff like that. Hit us up on Instagram and say, hey, I want one of those Gyarados promo cards. I want an oversized card and we'll find you one. All right. So Kogus Trap, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu with the Bubbles, Clefairy, Crying Cubone, Reverse Mr. Mime, and a Raichu GX. All right. Not too bad. Second pack. We already have a pull. Let's go. So we have a lot of packs to get through. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on them we're just gonna we're gonna quickly burn through these here is another code card for a 10 i know i said every five packs but i lied i don't want to forget so here are actually what the gyarados promo cards look like we have 10 of these we have 10 tens in total i will be opening five chance will be opening five and here's what they look like so if you're interested in one let us know we have a ton of them and let's just go so we have a shining Mew pack. I always say Shining Mew. That is not a Shining Mew at all. Okay. Also, what do you guys think about the news uh, that I talked about earlier in this video, in the intro? Uh, do you really think that that's the release date of Pokemon Snap? Or do you think... Ooh, look at that. I made it. Or do you think that that is just a placeholder date that GameStop put in there so people don't ask and they'll still put their pre-orders in? 
because there's a very good chance, honestly, if I'm telling you the truth, that that's exactly what is happening. Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke. Oh, God, we don't have this shiny yet. I love these shiny sneak up on you. It's a shiny Malamar. On the end, we have an Erica's Hospitality. Okay, so look at that card, though. Not a bad pull. These guys are going to seriously climb in value as the set gets harder to find. I know that a reprint is confirmed for this set, and I know that that is going to drive the value of the set down just a little bit but i don't think they're going to do very many more reprints i think that the community has spoken what makes the set so fun so sought after is the fact that it's so hard to get their hands on right now so i don't think they're going to do a bigger reprint even if there's the, the demand there i just don't see them doing it Slowpoke, psyduck clefairy magikarp ekans ooh, a shiny bonnet gx that's what it's all about i'm telling you this set builds analysis on them this set they sneak up on you i have to start remembering that it's the it's the reverse slot where the shiny charizard will be okay that card is awesome look it's look like it's up to no good it's still shady a little slim shady right there man i love pokemon cards guys i hope that you guys love them too and if you love them make sure you consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already i know we make awesome pokemon on opening videos and I know that there's nobody else on the internet that could possibly do what we do. I'm kidding. It's not that hard to sit here open Pokemon cards. But I love opening them, talking about them, sharing our pulls with you guys, collecting them. And here's the reverse. And on the end, we have a non-holographic Butterfree. I just, I love everything about Pokemon. As you guys can see behind me, I have a shelf full of it. This is actually only a fraction of my collection as I have another collection in another room in my house, and I might eventually move it. You've seen some of it in other videos, but we don't really have like an official unopening area set up. I'm just kind of using my dirty mouse pad here, as you see. There is a code card for the pack. One, two, three, four to the front. Get rid of that energy. Ooh, I saw something shiny, guys. Magmar, Farfetch, Cubone, Jigglypuff. Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, the shiny Charmander on the end, the birds! I love this card. I pulled this card twice in our last hidden fates on opening. The card will be right here if you haven't seen it already, but God, I love this card so much. Back-to-back -back pulls, shiny Charmander and the legendary birds. It's crazy that these two cards are worth around $30 together. That's just insane. We have so many Charmanders now, which I love, and like I said, I think that they're going to climb in value as the set gets older. But now we have some to sell, some to trade, and some to get graded. So it's great to have a lot of different cards in your collection. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm not, like, boring you guys in any way. Here is a code card for the pack. One, two, three, four to the front. Get rid of the energy, and let's go. I'm also doing this in a very awkward way. I guess I could be more like this. Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, a Decidueye GX. Shiny Decidueye. I love this card so much. What's on the end? Blaine's Last Stand. Oh my god, we're getting pull after pull. These are some serious bangers. Not necessarily the card we're looking for, but, you know, I'll take every single pull we can get. This is a good sign. Hidden Fates, Shining Charizard pack. If there's a fire energy on the front, I'm going to bet... 100 dislikes that this will have the Charizard we've been looking for in it. And when I say I bet 100 dislikes, I mean I will go create 100 YouTube accounts and dislike this video 100 times. That's serious, guys. All right, so Scyther, Charmeleon, another good sign. Metapod, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Reverse Brox, Ground, and man, I have to go freaking make 100 accounts and dislike this video. But while I'm disliking this video, make sure you guys like this video. <sighs> All right. There is a code card. One, two, three, four to the front. And let's just get into it. There's the fire energy I was looking for. Chansey, Graveler, Giovanni's Exile, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Reverse Psyduck. And on the end, we have another Raichu GX. Look at that. Back to back Raichus, all in the same video. I think we pulled two of those cards in the last video we did, to tell you the truth. I'm just gonna take care of this bulk really quick. Ooh. Oh yeah, okay. Now if you guys like to collect bulk, or if you know somebody that needs bulk, let me know. We have a ton of it to send off. Here's another code card for a Hidden Fates Collector's 10, Gyarados GX box. All right, 
Let's go. We have a couple more packs left. Uh, I'm like honestly feeling this video. Uh, I, the weird thing is I've decided to do a face cam this time, and I might just layer it in for different it, when I get, when I get pulls because I don't know if I'll leave it on the whole time because I'm shaking everything a lot. So I don't want to see you guys. I don't want I don't want you to see me shaking everything. But I get really excited over Pokemon cards as you're going to see. So I'd love Bruh. to be able to share that with damn it with you guys. Dang it. There's a Metapod and a Jolteon non-holographic. Okay. Uh, make sure you stick around for the next video. You subscribe because we have more hidden fates on opening. We have some Steam Siege to open. I think we're going to do some type of giveaway or some type of uh, funny video with the Steam Siege pack because Steam Siege is honestly just the worst set ever made. I mean, you guys might disagree with that, but if you do, let me know down below. Reverse gold on the end. We have a Shy Lapras. Okay. Not getting much here, honestly. But like I was saying, I've said this before, not every video, I've said this before, not every video is going to contain all the bangers. We have pulled a couple of good cards this video already, but our a couple, our last couple of Hidden Fates videos, we've made so many amazing pulls. We got Leafeon, Glaceon, a couple Umbreons, Tons of shiny Pokemon, just all the good cards people are wanting. We keep pulling. We just cannot find the Char. Eh. Ooh, look at that shiny Rock Ruff. Oh, this is brand new to me. The artwork is so cool. But we cannot find the shiny Charizard. And then on the end, we have an Arbok with Jesse. Wow, I really love this card. I love shiny hunting. Shiny hunting Pokemon cards is a new obsession of mine. It's so cool. I want to get the old shining cards, like the, the shining Gyarados, the shining Charizard. All of them. I want. I want to get them. They're so cool. They kind of started the shiny craze back in the day, and I'm glad to see that Pokemon's kept with it. To tell you the truth, but it makes me really want to go get some vintage packs, which are so ridiculously expensive right now. What is your favorite Pokemon set? Like, if you had to pick one, only once they can open ever again, besides base set, because everyone's gonna say base set. What would you pick? I would probably pick Neo Destiny. Ooh, shiny Sudowoodo! Look at that, guys! We keep getting more and more shinies! And on the end, we have a Kangaskhan. God, I love the little red balls, that goofy face. I love this card so much. Oh, we just, we're just we building our, our little collection right here so so much. Okay. I would probably say that Neo Destiny or Neo Genesis, though, because those two sets, I was just old enough to start remembering things. That was 2000. That was 20 years ago. I was 7 years old and that was probably the set that i actually remember opening the most i didn't really open a lot of base set i had a lot of base set and fossil and jungle cards but i didn't open a lot of base set i opened mostly neo destiny and neo genesis team rocket i had a ton of the of the team rocket cards let's go what's the reverse a ho oh gx shiny ho oh is one of my favorite pokemon ever oh that's so cool i love the texture Oh man, I love this card so much. And on the end, we have a hollow zap. Those two legendary birds in one pack. But seriously, look at this shiny Ho Oh GX. Are you kidding me? That's such a beautiful card. I love it so much. I really, really love this card. That's my favorite pull of the day. Let me know the card that you like that I pulled the most um, in the comments down below. So far, my favorite of the day has got to be that Ho Oh GX. That Decidueye GX is pretty close, to tell you the truth. But that Ho-Oh GX is really the next level. I love that card so much. Oh, man. I hate how I, when I open these and I bend the whole pack. I feel like such a monster. Okay. Oh, I keep hitting everything. This is not a good setup. I'm going to have to figure something else out. I keep shaking the camera, the microphone, my webcam. Ugh. Okay. I, uh, I'm sweating. I'm seriously sweating right now over Pokemon cards. Charmeleon, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans... Caterpie, this should be the reverse. Sabrina's suggestion Ooh. on the end, we have a sleeping normal Snorlax. Okay, okay. It looks like we have about five packs left. I'm going to go ahead and give out another Hidden Fates Collector's 10 code. I hope that you guys appreciate all the code cards we give out. We don't really hoard them in any way, and I don't see the point in reselling them. And I don't play online. I know my little brother used to, and I have a lot of friends that still play online just because it's easier than going to card shops. But, uh, if you guys appreciate getting all these codes, make sure you let us know. And if you get anything good, like if you get the Shining Charizard and the TCG, because somehow 
you guys can actually resell the cards from the game. I don't know how you can do it, but some people make money selling packs on the game. Reverse Clefairy, and on the end is Starmie GX. I can go right back there. But yeah, I, I do know that you guys can make money selling the cards on TCG, on the Pokemon Online TCG. I'm not sure how you make the money selling the cards, but I have seen people that get really rare cards and then they sell them for a decent bit. So if you pull like a Shining Charizard or something crazy from our videos, please let us know. Tag us on Instagram, message us here, leave a comment on the video, reverse energy on the end, Jesse and James Holographic. Another card we just have so many of. All right, this is the last Charizard pack of the video. We have two more regular Hidden Fates packs after this. Let's go. Oh man, I, I don't think it's gonna happen. The suspense is not there. I don't have the same type of energy. I don't feel it in this video. I think that the quest for the Charizard is just going to have to continue to another day. Maybe Chance will be luckier than I am. Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Reverse Energy on the end, a regular Mr. Mime. You let me down, Charizard pack. Let's move on to the legendary birds. Let's get just right into this. I love this. Like, if I could sit around all day long opening Pokemon cards, if I had an unlimited budget to just buy Pokemon cards, hunt for rares, Get them graded, talk about the game, talk about the anime, talk about everything Pokemon. I would do it in a heartbeat. And I know there's tons of people out there that also would. And it's just such a good community. There's so many great collectors, so many great people in this community. You have the Unlisted Leafs, the Lean Hearts, the Breaking Nates, Reverse Cerulean Gym, Blaine's Last Stand. And you have just all these great collectors, great YouTubers, great content creators that are really doing this every day. And it's really that mentality that... And seeing that in the community, seeing these people open these crazy expensive cards and finding cards they've been hunting for years, it just really lights something in me. Like, it makes me happy seeing that. So now I'm so glad to be able to be creating that content. And I know a lot of people, this would be their dream is to create this type of content. So I, I just feel so lucky sitting here opening cards for you guys. This is the last pack. Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, a shiny whooper. Let's go, baby. I love that little goofy card on the end. We have a Snorlax. All right, so I mean that's all the packs and we have one more code card for the 10 That's the final code card for the tens. Let's just do a quick little recap here And then uh, we're gonna have to let the quest for the Charizard continue for another day But we got a shiny whooper a ho-oh GX a pseudo wudo shiny rock rock rough Raichu GX Raichu GX Starmie GX Decidueye GX Charmander and then the birds and a Bennett GX. It doesn't stop. I thought I was done. And a Malamar Shiny. So we got more than five excellent pulls in these five tens. Hidden Fates is getting ridiculously expensive, guys. So if you have an opportunity to buy it at retail, even if it's the reprints, I recommend trying to jump on it because there's just so many great pulls in this set. And that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a great evening, great weekend, and we'll see you all in the next video.